Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part five of how to use face reading to pick up valuable insights into someone's personality. And this expertise will enable you to gather key information to add to your rapport, body language and communication skills. Now the face reveals a wealth of information about someone without them uttering a single word. It exposes the hidden you, the internal influences that drive and guide you in your everyday actions, your everyday life. Now so far I have mentioned that you need to notice the overall shape of the face, whether it's a square, a rectangle, oval round, or a triangle and so on. Now this is fundamental in face reading. Now for example, a round face may suggest an emotional, sensitive and caring person. An oval face, a practical, methodical person. Now let's take the upside down triangle. This is a person who's got a quick, open mind and can be very ambitious, perhaps with a fiery temperament. Where the square face, you might find that an analytical, intelligent, decisive mind, though they can be aggressive. Now this body of knowledge will enable you to communicate in an intuitive, perceptive and intelligent way and importantly light up their neural networks given your deeper understanding of what makes them tick. I have also said that it's, it pays to recognize the three zones of the face, the mental, the emotional and the physical. See the face is red by dividing it into these three life points, the forehead, the mid face and the lower face. So go ahead, observe and divide the face into these three zones and also determine the percentage of each zone that is present. The three zones reveal the balance of energy across the mental, the emotional and the physical aspects of the personality. So let's start by looking at these three zones in more detail. First of all, the mental dominance. A person with strong mental acuity is likely to have more surface area in the upper zone of the face. The mental zone indicates the amount of energy invested in the mind and mental processes in comparison with the other two zones. A highly developed intellect is not unusual, though this person can be overstimulated and lack practical skills. The larger this percentage gives rise to a greater use of imagination and creativity. A higher percentage ear indicates a warm, affectionate, loving and open-hearted person. Good width in the emotional zone shows they have adaptability and the understanding to care about other people's needs. They have emotional sensitivity and warmth. Now let's look at the lower face where there's a physical dominance. A person with a larger physical zone indicates physical vitality and presence. They tend to put more energy into practical tasks. A bigger distance reveals sensuality and strength. It can also suggest self-control and the desire to be in charge of their own affairs. As you continue to recognize the features of the face, you will begin to understand how these characteristics come together in form and shape to represent the personality through their life's experiences. In other words, who and what they are today. So that completes part five. Thanks for watching. In the next part, I'll begin to look at the more prominent features of the face. So the most prominent feature or obvious feature really is the dominant aspect of someone's personality. It's what they project out to the external world and onto other people. So please visit my website, knowyourmind.com and my blog, mikelally.com. Now remember, you have many faces, Let's put them to use. Let's begin to look at, notice and observe these characteristics of the face, the most prominent features and those three zones. And never forget, the face says, this is who I am. So before we chat again, take care. Cheerio for now.